Last month, Classic WoW turned four years old. We went through where the game began in vanilla, we crossed the Dark Portal into TBC, and we are well on our way to finishing up in Northrend. All of this in a far shorter space of time than it took originally, too. Back then, it would have been just over six years to get from vanilla to Kata. For us, it'll be less than that for sure. How much less, though? Well, I suspect BlizzCon at the start of November will likely hold those answers for us. And just as the game changed so much from 2006 to late 2010, our classic has indeed gone through many changes too. Back at the end of 2019 in the release of Classic, the majority of the community was full on no changes. Coming off the back of Battle for Azeroth, the second, not terribly well received retail expansion in a row, many were wary that Blizzard may seek to add features to Classic to modernise the game and take away from the classic experience. And the players wanted that full-on classic experience with all the warts intact. And whilst not perfect, it certainly did bring back a version of the game we've never really seen before. We had well buffs and people trying to grief them, PvP ranking in the open world before battlegrounds, and your heals not going off thanks to spell batching, and so many more fond memories. Whereas in Wrath Classic now, we have had tons of general gameplay updates, and many more to come in the final patch. And let's face it, it doesn't make a ton of sense to put in general gameplay updates such as these for literally the last content patch of the current expansion, and for that to be it. We aren't going to kill the Lich King and then see a credit screen rolling saying thanks for playing, you beat the game, and then your character gets deleted and you have to go outside or something. This whole classic thing, be it in expansions or going back to vanilla, really is the gift that keeps on giving for Blizzard. Then again, I do get it. For a bunch of people out there, it's already decided in your mind. The journey ends with Arthas. Wrath of the Lich King is the cutoff point for Classic. After all, you know what's going to be happening next in the game, don't you? And you know what? I remember how many times I read that people were stopping Classic after Kel'Thuzad fell back in vanilla that they weren't going to be playing TBC or later returning for Wrath. And I don't know, I'm just saying, between Wrath at the moment, albeit quite raid loggy, and the new resurgence of Classic on Era and Hardcore, I reckon the player base is still in a pretty healthy spot. But as mentioned, Vanilla to Cataclysm was about six years of the game's history. Next year is coming up to a massive 20 year anniversary for the World of Warcraft MMORPG. And as much as the perceived vanilla era of the game was absolutely an important part of its history, by now, there is much more that's came after that than during. People will have started World of Warcraft at all points through different expansions. There'll be people who started in the Dragon Soul patch of Cataclysm, midway through Warlords of Draenor, or even Battle for Azeroth, and for those players, that's when they actually got into the game. So they're probably going to look back well on those experiences they had then, even if the wider player base seems to think that those points in the game were bad for whatever reason. And if you know you prefer the more original vanilla feeling of the game, then that option is currently there for you. It's not like we're getting either progression past Wrath of the Lich King or content for vanilla. At the moment, it's the best of both worlds, or at least it seems to be that way. And when I say best of both worlds is that Cataclysm seems to be happening based upon the large recent gameplay updates. And if you didn't know, Blizzard have already said they're working on a new seasonal server for vanilla as well. And to be honest, what sets Classic apart as a game when compared to any other expansion at the moment feels as though that's the reason why it's currently seeing a huge surge in players. Many may count vanilla, TBC and Wrath as that original timeless trio, but having played and replayed them now, Vanilla really has started to show itself standing out more and more. Not Kata, nor Raph, nor even TBC had the same gameplay structure as Classic, and that structure is the main reason a lot of people are going back to it right now. As cheesy and overstated as it is, it's all about the journey, not the destination, has really been cemented to me as a big reason why vanilla does so well when compared to expansions. During expansions, the content really begins at the previous expansion's level cap. All that leveling that takes place before is kind of just a hurdle that Blizzard keep accelerating, reducing experience needed, making Elite Zone less dangerous, the heirlooms, the LFD. 
the list goes on. In Classic, you start at level 1 with next to nothing in your bag. There's no idea that you are the hero or there to save the world. You're sent out to deal with minor trivial problems, to deliver items, to report news. Gradually, you work your way up the levels and take on larger threats and do things which are worthy of merit. But even in the face of some of the largest challenges the player faces, there's always the idea that you are a smaller part of something bigger. In later expansions, there might have been a quest to go and defeat Cthulhu or Kel'Thuzad, and for you to be rewarded after having done that. In vanilla though, you defeat them, and then you get an item which you can turn in for a reward. It's a small difference, but it's details like these which matter. And in some ways, for me personally, it's almost vindicating after all this time to see something centered around leveling, such as hardcore, being so popular. I spent classic leveling each class to 60 as I just preferred doing that more than the end game content. You heard people say they hated classic leveling so often to where you would believe that enjoying it was a niche thing but clearly that's not the case. On top of that, Classic set itself apart by being full of items that wouldn't have even been considered for a few seconds by a modern design team, such as Magic Dust, a rare drop from a level 18 or so mob that instantly applies a 30 second sleep. Gnomish Mind Control Cap lets you take control of much higher level players, Goblin Rocket Helm, another instant way to CC a target for a long time, and there are many more examples. This total lack of anything being balanced kind of worked in a way for vanilla though. If everything's overpowered, then nothing is overpowered. It's just up to the player to grind, farm, and straight up be more of a degen than the next guy to come out ahead. And in some way, that's very much what MMOs are all about. But as Classic has progressed, the Blizzard has started to become more hands-on with their changes. Back in Vanilla Classic, I remember there being a community uproar over changing water textures. There was even someone who made an add-on emulating what the LFD did for Vanilla, and people lost their minds over it so much that Blizzard added new restrictions to the add-on API to prevent things like it from working. In fact, the blue post where they said they'd be doing this is probably the most upvoted blue post I've ever seen. Whereas nowadays in Wrath Classic, among other things, we have cross-faction battlegrounds, class changes, major gameplay updates such as the Titan Rune Dungeons, account-wide collections coming next patch, Oh, and the WoW token too. A lot has changed in Classic since 2019, both at Blizzard and for the player base too. I used to get the idea that Vanilla to Wrath Classic were the classic games, and beyond that things changed significantly. But I think nowadays that line of there being a before and after for the classic version of the game just isn't as clear as it used to be. And in some ways it does feel like there is a divide happening, which could actually work out quite well to be honest. Why pick between continuing with expansions beyond Wrath or having seasonal updates in vanilla when we can have both? I can tell you 100% that hardcore being as popular as it currently is, is only a good thing for vanilla fans worldwide, irrespective of whether you actually like hardcore or not. If Blizzard see this many people willing to go back and play the game again, that tells them that it's something that's worth investing into again. And at the end of the day for Blizzard, a sub is a sub, whichever version of the game you are on. As for the prospect of moving forwards into Cataclysm, I still maintain the first raid tier, that being tier 11, so throw another 4 wins, Bastion of Twilight and Blackwing Descent, is the best opening raid tier of an expansion Blizzard have ever made, and is also up there among my personal favourite tiers of all time. The Firelands was also very highly rated by many players. But then we get to Dragon Soul, and people don't like Dragon Soul. Maybe it's the end of tier raid letting the whole expansion down, when typically the end of expansion raids so far have all been pretty great. I mean, we have had mediocre raids before, Mount Hyjal, revamped Naxxramas, and even our current raid, Trial of the Grand Crusader, come to mind. But none of these are at the end of an expansion. Maybe that's where the difference is. When everyone's in that final tier, that's when the biggest payoff comes for your character in terms of power during the expansion. Anyways, the point is with options of having both versions of the game, there could be a world where raiding content mainly takes place on the current expansion, but those longer term goals in terms of leveling characters can take place on vanilla realms in between this. In fact, with Classic Hardcore having come out recently, that's pretty much exactly what I've been doing. 
I mean, running Alduath or Flower of the Heavens, which just never exists, and doing Trial of the Grand Crusader is not the most thrilling content at this point in time, but it doesn't take that long and I definitely want to do ICC on 25 Heroic. You've got to gear up for that. Though there were many changes with Cataclysm that people don't look back on too fondly, such as the old world revamp, it appears as though Vanilla, in some capacity, will still be there, just on a different part of the Battle.net launcher, and that just seems like a good thing to me. Also, who knows, when we were going into Wrath, Blizzard removed the LFD from the game. They even made a point to announce it straight away as I guess they thought it was going to be a super easy win. And then the players went, hey Blizz, where's the LFD? Put it back in the game for over a year straight. And now we're getting it in the final patch of Wrath. I genuinely wonder if this is going to happen again with LFR. Cataclysm raiding is a step up, you know. If those participation numbers drop enough, Blizzard might feel it's time to put this system back in the game during Dragon's Soul, and if people ask for it too, well, who knows what could happen. But for the time being, to be honest, the future of Classic is looking pretty great. We're about to get Ice Crown Citadel, the second big hit in terms of raiding during Wrath of the Lich King. Classic Hardcore is going very strong. It's definitely early days, yes, but make the most of it while you can. Classic Era has gained a huge amount of traction, both from a vanilla enjoyers going back to it, as well as I imagine a constant influx of the Fallen from hardcore servers. BlizzCon is in early November, the first actual physical BlizzCon in how many years now? Surely they will want to make some kind of statement with that return. It also lines up very well for news on Cataclysm or whatever's happening after Wrath. Also, maybe there's even news for the next seasonal WoW server. And perhaps we can will Classic Plus into existence and Blizzard commit to adding new content to Classic instead of just doing expansions again. We can dream, right? Either way, in about six months or so time, Classic as a game is going to be a very different landscape, literally and figuratively. So the question remaining is, Blizzard, just what do you have in store for this game? And that is it for today. Bit of a ramble this one about the state of the game going forwards. I am genuinely optimistic for the future of Classic, seeing how well different versions of the game are currently doing. What do you want to see though? What direction do you want Blizzard to take the game? And what are you expecting from BlizzCon this year? Let me know below. Also, quick reminder right at the end of the video, if you do want Wrath Error servers to be a thing, you should start asking for it on forums and stuff now. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and listening in, and I'll see you all on the next one very soon.